Humans have been all over the place. We have conquered the lands, flown through the air, and dived into the deepest trenches in the ocean, and even walked on the moon. As a human species, we have experienced cold temperatures during the ice ages, but we have never been exposed to heat as much as we have to cold. Generally speaking, what is the hottest place in the solar system? Naturally, the first thing that comes into the mind is the surface of the sun. 150 million kilometers away boiling gases. Heat that is thousand times bigger than our planet. But is that the surface that is the hottest part of our solar system? Well, surprisingly, no. Using delicious combinations of particle accelerators, X-rays, high-intensity lasers, and even using diamonds and iron atoms, it was found out that the inner core of the Earth is actually 6,000 degrees Celsius. That means just below your feet, there is a thing that is hotter than the surface of the sun, which is 5,500 degrees Celsius. Well, to put it into perspective, not just melting but boiling point of iron is 2,750 degrees Celsius, and close exposure to 5,500 degrees, for us, is an instant death and ashes. Now, 6,000 degrees inside the Earth is extremely hot for us to comprehend. Practically, our Earth has a star inside. While we would love to dig down to the core and take some exact measurements, it simply isn't possible with our current drilling technology and probably never will be. The Kola Super Deep Borehole had to stop at 12 kilometers because the temperature had already reached 180 degrees Celsius and was expected to reach 300 Celsius at a target depth of 15 kilometers, at which point the drill bit would cease to work. There are no drilling technologies that would even come close to surviving in the mantle, which ranges 500 degrees Celsius to 4000. Unless, hypothetically, if there is an oil below mantle, it's not that much of a big mystery which country will get there first in a matter of hours. The reason sun's surface is cooler than the Earth's core is that it can radiate the heat constantly. On the other hand, Earth's core can't lose the heat produced from the radioactive decay quickly enough. Simply, heat can escape the sun's surface. At the core of the Earth, it has nowhere else to go. This high temperature comes from the intense pressure that comes from the entire mass of the planet bearing down on the core and compressing it. Before you get into wrong impression, keep in mind that the core of the sun is broiling 15 million degrees Celsius. That's enough to vaporize rocks in a comet that gets too close, and enough to give you a nasty burn from 150 million kilometers away after just few minutes exposure when you are sunbathing. The temperature of the Earth's core is very important. Well, this inner core behaves like a gigantic magnet, generating a huge magnetic field around the planet that protects it from the blasts and harmful radiation from the Sun. And this is one of the main factors what differentiates us from Mars. Not far up in the space, inside the magnetosphere of the Earth, there is a donut-shaped region, that is, plasma sphere. And it's about 1000 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The temperature in the plasma sphere is generally between 6000 and 35,000 degrees Celsius. This is even hotter than the core of the Earth. But essentially, temperature in the space and vacuum is irrelevant, and that's why we don't get to feel it. These are all natural phenomena, but there are unnatural man-made temperatures. You might be wondering about the hottest temperatures ever generated by the humans on the Earth. Well, thermonuclear explosions reach temperatures of tens of millions of Celsius. Fusion experiments hit 500 million degrees Celsius. But that's absolutely nothing. In 2012, physicists working with a Large Hadron Collider were investigating the conditions that might have existed during the earliest moments of Big Bang. They generated a quark-gluon plasma that had a temperature of not a million, or not a billion, but a 5.5 trillion Celsius. That's the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth. But the Earth is not the strangest place in the solar system. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, but simultaneously it has an ice with a volume of bigger than Lake Tahoe. If you want to know how and why, check out this video. Thanks for watching.